Philip, um, you are one of the experts for high voltage trainings. So you are a technician, uh, technician trainer. Um, could you, uh, oh, you brought actually an electric engine and uh, can you explain us what um, those trainings actually entail? Well, Miriam, thank you for that question because it's a really good one. To sum it up in one word, it is about safety. Um, safety so that nobody comes in danger, not the drivers and for us not the mechanics that have their hands on. Because what you see here is our EVD2 that we use for example in the Mercedes EQC. That one is mounted on the front axle, we have another one mounted on the rear axle which then gives us the idea that we have 300 kilowatts of power in the car. And then what you see here is we have the differentials from the differentials we have the electrical motor and on top we have the inverter. And this makes us a complete axle system as Julian also mentioned. And up from there we go out with these orange cables and this is already the first hint because orange basically tells me there is danger and how to deal with that danger. When we come to the battery there is one thing that I can directly pull. This is the so-called service disconnect plug and we can use that to shut down the system. But the idea is basically what is inside of the system if I have shut it down. Have all the switches, all the systems worked? Were they activated? Is it working in a proper way? Because pulling that plug is not rocket science. What is interesting for me as a mechanic or for students in the training course is the fact to control really is the system shut down or not. If I pull a light switch, it is off or on. In the car we can have up to 600 amperes, which is, let's put it that way, there is no second chance. And we don't want to get into that situation. So what we teach in our courses is not only how to shut down the system, which is only half the truth, but to control that the system is really shut down. There is no more electrical current in there. So this is the first step. In the second step, we then do like a visual inspection and we all know that visual inspections include hands, basically. Um, so we do the visual inspection, check the whole system, then we talk about potential equalization, which is like a safety belt in the system, and we then measure the insulation. So in the end, you know exactly not only for our systems, but for all the other systems, how to be sure and you have, yeah, you could say perfect function in the system and afterwards with the mechanics. So this is what the trainings are about.